Welcome guys to this new video. I'm going to be showing you how to create an actual planning booking into your Shopify store totally for free. I'm going to be showing you a really, really easy way. But first of all, in order to continue, you want to make sure that you have an actual plan already been enabled inside Shopify. So for that, you wanted to go into the settings section, hit into plan, and you wanted to check it out that you have an active plan. This is not going to be useful as a trial account or as a really startup plan. You need to have something a little bit more upgraded, upgraded than that. So now that you have the elements to get started with, let's go and hit into the applications into the left bot. In here, you want to go into recommended applications. And sometimes it appears in here since you already have an account, an actual store that can be enabled for booking and adding different elements into a calendar. But if it doesn't appear into your actual, um, let's say, recommended apps, you want to scroll all your way down and look out for Shopify App Store. Once I clicked in here, it's going to be popping out this new app.shopify.com. So here what I want to do is to type into the keyword into the upper side. And here what I want to do is to type the keyword of the application that I wanted to look out for. So let's go and look out for booking. And now I click into enter. And as you can see, we have a lot of applications that we can choose. I can personally, guys, try to maybe persuade you a little bit to try to use the empowerment booking of the cow Linda. Because this one has a really high rate has a free plan available and you don't have to pay like a lot of money. So sometimes there are a few applications that are totally free. If you have an active plan of Shopify, sometimes you need to pay a little bit of money after you have tried the actual free version of these applications. So if I clicked into the app, it's going to be showing me the ad application. So I click here into add app. And now what I wanted to do is to install the application inside my store. So here into the upper side, it says install app. And now that this one has been successfully added, what I wanted to do is to get started with the personalization of the calendar booking stuff inside my actual uh, website. So what I wanted to do is to use the free version for now because we don't want it to pay for the pro. And as you can see here, it is the app enabled. So now what I want to do is to add the widget inside my booking shop. So let's go into enable the calendar widget. And this one is going to be taking us into the editor of Shopify. So you just want to make sure that into the left part inside in here, we have the embeamed and the widget applications. Inside the app embeamed, you want to make sure that the calendar is enabled. If you haven't added, just go into enabled and hit into save. There we go. So now I'm going to hit back and let's go into, I have already list one product. I click in the, and now I wanted to create an actual service. So I click the, I'm going to choose to close this. And as you can see, this is like a preview how it's going to be looking my actual booking. So as a computer and as a phone number. So here it says booking. I want to go into select the product. And here you wanted to make sure that you have an actual one product service enabled into your store. If you haven't add any of those, you wanted to go into cancel. I'm going to go back into my store, hit into products. And here into products, I wanted to go into add product. So here to add product, what you wanted to do is to add, let's say, for example, is to go in private video chat. Make sure that you have the one that says shipping code inside shipping code. Go for digital product or service and hit into save. Now that my product has now been enabled, let's go back inside here and then choose select product once again. And you wanted to make sure that your product has now been enabled in here. I'm going to hit into add. And now, as you can see, here is now the private teaching Spanish video chat lesson. So let's go into type of booking. Let's go for regular booking. And now, as you can see, you have the background color. You can change the color, let's say six times. And now the other button color, let's go and look out for this one. Here is the title. And since this is a meeting, I'm going to choose uh, Zoom. Now, where it says enter a Zoom link, what I wanted to do is to choose an actual Zoom custom link or choose Google Meet. That totally depends on you. The language should be into Spanish. Since I'm having a teaching Spanish and here, let's go for this is a trial lesson. And here you wanted to choose the availability. Let's see, for example, that we can choose from Monday to Friday from 9 and uh, 5 p.m. And the meeting duration should be an hour. Once I have successfully added all of the elements that I wanted to see, I'm going to hit now into save. Now I'm going to go back into my services. I'm going to hit into view. And if you go directly into the product or in my case, into my services, I have the book now version. So I'm going to click here. 
and it's going to be popping up this new application widget that I have just, we have just actually added inside the quick started of Shopify. So what I just need to do is to try it out if this actually works. Let's say, for example, that I want to schedule on the 7th at 9 a.m. Here is my name, let's say, for example, Tom, and here is example at gmail.com and here to confirmed. So when someone makes an actual payment, this actual quick start, this actual booking is going to be appearing to now inside my application. So go into apps. I'm going to head into the appointment booking calendar. And here you want to go into bookings. And here's going to be appearing the booking that you have enabled. Or you can add manually your bookings inside here and choose a service we can choose all of these elements and the process is actually exactly the same so as you can see guys it's actually really really simple to do this process inside shopify hopefully this was a very useful information for you if you wanted to use another application that would be totally fine for you but i can totally suggest you guys to use a free version since you don't need to pay let's say for example for extra money just to add this widget into your store so thank you once again for watching the video guys and well i'll see you next time